Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Well, if you wonder about the hat, I was going to sit outside under the awning and um, just enjoy this day outside and do some taping and it didn't work out so well. So, hey, I am filming this on Labor Day weekend. This is Sunday. And yes, it's a wonderful three-day weekend. So um, there's more to it than that, though, in my heart. Labor Day weekend is much more than picnics. It's much more than what a lot of us consider the end of summer. And I don't consider the end of summer down in this area because we're still looking at the 90s. Uh, for temperatures for quite some time when the Gulf is and the Gulf water is warm enough to be like bath water and Of course that's causes the hurricane season to ramp up quite a bit um, I am all for fair labor for every that is a big chunk of what Labor Day is about fair labor It's about those that have fought for us for fair labor. So I went out yesterday and did some thrifting um, you know, I just wonder who all enjoys doing that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went to Goodwill and I'll show you some clips here of my trip in. I'm not going to bore you with everything that I looked at. In the parking lot, I noticed that there were still a lot of dead plants. Um, and looked like they were starting to come out of the uh, deadness, for lack of better words. Those plants died off during our what I call frozen in Texas season that we had this past February, February 2021. When those of us down here in Texas never freeze, we froze and we had snow and we were without power and water and all sorts of things. It was a fun time, but anyhow, um, yeah, you'll see those plants in this video as well. I'm really fond of thrifting and and um, as you all know I do the keto diet and I've lost a lot of weight I lost a lot of weight before keto but these last four years of keto um, I think I've, I've lost 40 pounds um, I had lost 20 or 30 pounds prior to that through eating whole grains and um, really paying attention to my diet a well-balanced diet and I was doing low fat but that didn't help my type 2 diabetes since I went to keto, my main reason for doing that was to lower my um, blood sugar, my blood glucose levels. And I am in remission, and I'm not going to talk about this entirely, except for the fact, yes, um, you can consider remission after you're off of medication for three months. And this is per the American Diabetes Association and some other health organizations. And um, I can uh, link to that PDF if you'd like. And um, yeah, if your A1C is below a 6.5, it needs to be lower than that. In my, my opinion, it needs to be low a 5.7 at the three month mark. Um, off of medications, after intervention, which would be diet, so on and so forth. Yes, um, it's considered type two diabetes in remission. But anyhow, through my keto journey, Thrift stores have been my best friend. I'm not a person that believes in going out and spending a lot of money on shopping and things like that. Um, I just hate to shop. I hate to spend money. I've been able to obtain clothes um, and donate clothes back, um, especially during the times when I was gaining and losing um, frequently not gaining during the especially during the times I was losing more frequently the closer I get towards my personal goal weight the harder the harder it is to lose most definitely it's not it's not harder because I just stick with the diet it's slower it's just taking more time and it's just like it always has been the closer you get so in this video um, the one of the things I don't like about our local Goodwill store, and I'm not trying to knock Goodwill, is a lot of the ladies' tops, the ladies' tops aren't marked by size, so you don't have a small, medium, large. The pants are and the skirts are, but the tops aren't. Some of the skirts aren't. 
pardon me. You get into the plus sizes. I notice a lot of the sizes are marked. The pants are marked, but the women's tops are are gathered, and you'll, you'll see this in the video, they're gathered by color, red, blue, green, whatever. And it's really hard to find things in this store because it's really hard to find things in this store due to this reason. I absolutely love the Georgetown, Texas Goodwill and the Pflugerville, Texas uh, Goodwill and some of the Austin Goodwills. I mean, you could find just the best bargains and very clean, organized stores. So the Austin area, I give you a huge thumbs up to your Goodwill stores. Um, the Houston area, I've not been really excited about any of their stores yet at all. So as you'll see in this video, um, I held up, and, and yay, the dressing rooms were open, and that's always a good thing for me. I'm this short lady, and I'm a little bit thicker in the middle, um, but smaller in other areas, and it's really thrilling to me when the dressing rooms are open, because even though I'm buying thrift clothes, I still am paying money. And I want to be able to see if these clothes fit me before I walk out the door. Well, I found two items on this shopping trip. And I've got to tell you that I used to wear like a 2X. And they sometimes the waistbands were too small. And it, I'm holding this pair of shorts up in this, in this vlog, in this video. And you'll see they're a medium. And they fit me well. And they were loose in the legs. But they were made to be a little bit loose. But it fit me well. And another pair of shorts as well. But, but yeah, you know, it's exciting to be able to put on a medium. Even a medium with a drawstring and elastic. Elastic. I didn't think I'd ever see that size ever again. But thank you, Keto. It just really works. So with thrifting, I'm really happy to help be able to help others um, to donate what I don't need and not be stingy with it. Just if I'm not going to wear it again, let it go. But I don't donate junk. And that's one thing that gets on my nerves. And I've heard that the um, Goodwill in some of the thrift stores have some of the highest rates of garbage, for lack of better words, that they have to send to the dumps because um, so many people give things away that nobody can really use or nobody can really wear. So I don't do that. Um, and I also have found during this weight loss journey that the quicker that I get rid of items and perhaps just, I love going in one door and donating and then going in the other door and just replacing what I just donated. I don't generally replace without donating first. And um, I just feel like I'm helping people that way. And also it helps with the weight loss because sometimes you buy some, some clothing and ladies, you know how this goes. It may be a little bit snug, but it gives you initiative to lose the weight. And not really so much look at the pounds on the scale, but know that you're getting smaller because, wow, when I bought that, I really didn't want to wear it because it was a little too snug. I like my clothes to be slightly loose. I'm just not a fan of skin tight clothes. So anyway, I'll, yeah, it becomes an incentive. So I'm not going to bore you with everything that I bought. I, you know, I, I love to buy my husband's jeans, for example, good Wrangler jeans. Uh, you know, they're still not exactly cheap. But you know, well, there's, there's, they're inexpensive. Hardly worn. Six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. A couple of pairs of shorts because it's still hot. You can see my face is starting to get a little bit red. Uh, the air has got to come back on shortly. Um, we're supposed to reach ninety six degrees today up home, up north. They're at seventy nine degrees today, and we're what September the fifth, I think, as I record this. So I am going to show you the one t-shirt that I bought that I didn't try on. And unfortunately, it's a little bit snug. It's one of those, uh, you know, uh, one of those shirts that kind of conforms to your body. So I'm going to try to wet it down, stretch it out. If it doesn't work, then it's going to be an incentive to keep it. Because I love anything that says, don't mess with Texas. And with the longhorns on the shirt as well. It's just... Uh, I'm a proud Texan. Yes, ma'am. I'm a proud Texan.
So, hey, um, happy Labor Day to you. When you get this, and it's probably going to be late, I'm going to try to upload it, but we're going to see it. It's going to take some editing. But if you like this video, please remember to hit like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And sharing is caring. If you can find someone that this can uplift their day, let's get out there and, and share this video.